What's going on YouTube? How is everybody today? Oh really? That's great to hear. Uh, today I want to talk about the new Minus the Bear album called Omni. It was released in 2010 on Danger Bird Records. Uh, it's Minus the Bear's fourth album, first for Danger Bird. Uh, Minus the Bear is a Seattle math rock band formed in 2001. Uh, they're named after a 70s TV show called BJ and the Bear. And I guess one of the members of the band went on a date with a girl and they said, how was the date? And he said, you remember that show BJ and the Bear? It was like that, Minus the Bear. Blowjob jokes, misogyny, you got Minus the Bear right there. Uh, so yeah, on their fourth album, Omni, they, I don't know, they went in this really kind of more accessible direction. They put all these kind of weird synthesizer, electronic flourishes, they cranked that up a little, toned down the guitars, uh, it's not nearly as edgy or as difficult as their other stuff, previous releases were, it's way more accessible. Uh, a little more immediate, very, very much so more popular than their previous work. Uh, you know, and it kind of suffers because of that, because it gets a little predictable, gets a little sameness after multiple, multiple, multiple listens. It gets a little harder to differentiate between which song is which. It all kind of sounds the same, doesn't really have any curveballs to it, but it's not really that bad a quality, though. A lot of reviewers online have given this album bad reviews. Pitchfork even gave it a 3, 3 out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. Really slandered it and it's not that bad an album. Like sure it's catchier, more melodic, poppier, more accessible, more straightforward, but you know the songs aren't all that bad. Sure the lyrics are, you know, kinda iffy, not the best lyrics in the world, but the production's really good. It doesn't sound overly overproduced or anything, you know, it sounds good, it's got some nice sweet hooks, you know, since, you know, it's just good, catchy pop music, really, it's not a completely bad album like a lot of people are trying to make it up to be, lots of songs about, like I said, blowjobs, and doing coke with models, and having sex, misogyny, just, you know, girls cheating on their boyfriends with the band members, and stuff like that, but it's all coming through in this very summery, pleasant kind of tone, very kind of blissful and happy about their lives. There's not really any misery or anything on this album. It's all very on the up and up, very upbeat kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's not really all I can say. I'm not really a big Minus the Bear fan. Uh, I have a couple of the other albums, but nothing really I own by them really stands out or made me want to re-listen to them or revisit again. I've easily listened to this one the most. It's probably my favorite Minus the Bear album so far. Uh, I don't know who said uh, they got compared to Maroon 5 on one review too and another review called them post-emo and I'm like, I don't know what some people are talking about. I did a little research on this guy who produced the album, there's a guy named Joe Ciccarelli who produced it, gave this kind of nice little sheen, the, the polish, and he's uh, worked on albums by The Shins, County Crows, My Morning Jacket, he's working on the new Strokes album, and so on and so forth. So I don't know, maybe that's why it's got this more catchy, melodic air about it. Uh, artworks, not everything really to write home about, just Omni. Sketchy, barely visible black colors. Picture of the band, just chilling out. Just more of the same kind of blotchy mess for arts. Comes with this terrible slipcase too, the clear slipcase you can't throw away because it's the only place the track listings are found is on the slip case, which is a bitch because I hate these things. And then you just get the sleeve, the lyrics, you know, it's pretty hard to read what's going on here. It's all very small print, more blotchy black, shiny Omni art. But yeah, not a bad album at all, but it's not great. Like, it's, it's points for being catchy, points for being listenable. There's some tracks I can DJ on Saturdays, you know, it's misogynistic, it's fun to listen to, it's, it's just, you know, it's brainless music, you don't have to really, not a lot to think about, nothing to really dive deep into lyrically or sonically going on here, it's all very straightforward, it's got a little bit of a funk, electronic kind of flavor to it a little, but it's still mainly indie rock, not really math rock at all, at this point, barely is, not that I'm a math rock expert, but it's not as mathy as their other stuff is, it's definitely not as jagged or... Uh, where they go in this weird kind of sophisticated time signatures and stuff like that. It's just really pleasant, really poppy, 
indie rock music, but minus the Bears, 2010 album, Omni, Danger Bird Records.